On the night of Monday, the 25th of April, North Korea held a new military parade in Pyongyang. This was to celebrate the 90th anniversary of the founding of the Korean People's Army. In this video, we will analyze the armored fighting vehicles seen in this parade. If you like this type of content, let us know in the comments and don't hesitate to like and subscribe. North Korea celebrates the anniversary of the founding of the Korean People's Army every year. This goes back to the alleged creation of an anti-Japanese guerrilla organization, the Korean People's Revolutionary Army, dating back to the 25th of April of 1932. The foundation of the Korean People's Army as the Army of North Korea and not a guerrilla organization actually dates from 8th of February 1948. This date is always a good occasion for North Korea to flex its military muscles. This year, as often in the past decades, new missile systems were the star of the show, as North Korea showcased the Hwasong-17 intercontinental ballistic missile, new submarine-launched missile, and apparently even a hypersonic system. However, these have mostly been extensively covered on the internet. While the armored vehicles seen in the parade have been more discreet, we will analyze them here. The main star of the parade AFV-wise has without a surprise been the M2020 MBT. This model of tank was first seen in the parade in 2020 and it has generated much debate due to how much it looked like an attempt to emulate modern Western and Russian designs and how much of the design may have been faked. We have already covered this vehicle in an article and a video analysis in the past. In this parade, 8 vehicles have been seen, the same amount as previously. They were shown in a new 3-tone green camouflage, which differed from the sand camouflage the vehicle were first seen in and which appeared to be an attempt to emulate the look of the Abrams. Otherwise, nothing significant appears to have changed in the design. It can be noted, however, that crewmen of the tank were seen with some goofy attempts at futuristic-looking helmets. Next in line with heavy vehicles were M2018 self-propelled guns, eight of which directly followed the M2020s. These are artillery vehicles based on the chassis of the Sun Gun Ho, with either 152 or 155mm main gun. They too show obvious attempts at replicating foreign technology, in this case modern self-propelled guns, particularly the South Korean K9 Thunder. Another odd vehicle first seen in 2020 reappeared, with North Korea's copy of the Striker. It appears the only vehicle seen this time were the missile carrying versions, which features a launcher with five missiles, likely the Bullseye 3, a North Korean missile based on the Russian Cornet. Another missile carrying wheeled vehicle has been this, in the form of a non line of sight and loss missile carrying vehicle, based on the 6x6 version of the North Korean M2010 APC, itself based on the BTR 80, which means this vehicle has a more classic Soviet look. This vehicle is slightly older in parades, dated from 2018 at the earliest it appears. Some M2010 armored personnel carriers were also part of the parade. However, they have, unfortunately, not been the focus of cameras to the same extent as the rest. The only other armored vehicle of note is North Korea's 727 Protected Patrol Vehicle. This simple armored jeep appears to have entirely replaced older UAZ as the vehicle to lead the different sections of parading AFVs, most likely carrying officers inside. Thanks for viewing this Tank Encyclopedia video. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as our Twitter account where we occasionally publish this type of analysis. Until next time, keep us in your sights.